Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? How's everything? Did you have a good day? Yes. More or less. More or less. So I can't complain. It can't complain. Okay, <laughs> nice. Well, today is um, Thursday, so it's the last day of classes for this week. Oh, wow. So uh, today we're going to finish section number one, and probably we're going to start the number two. Let's uh, check attendance. Thank you for being on time. Let's see. I'm going to check attendance first, and then we're going to go ahead and continue with. Uh, for today, is just no questions with me. A couple of exercises, a reading, and then we're going to go through the section number two. I, it is Rosario. It is Rosario. Is that Daniel? Jacqueline Iliana. Jaime Osvaldo. Jacqueline Vanessa. Jessica Mariela. Yes, Jacqueline Vanessa. Jacqueline Vanessa. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Hola. Jessica Marielos. Jessica Marielos. Jacqueline Enriquez. Okay, I see you are here. Jessica Marielos. Jose Samuel. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Thank you, Katia. Liz, uh, sorry, um, Kevin Anthony. Kevin Anthony. Lisbeth Daniela. Present teacher. Luis Alonso. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marcos Javier. Marcos Javier. María de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Thank you, María. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, María del Carmen. María Lucila. Present teacher. Thank you so much. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Raimundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Miguel Ángel. Thank you. Nadia Isolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Amelia. Present miss. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sandra Mabel. Present miss. Thank you. Tania Pamela. Present miss. Thank you. Vilma Ide. Vilma Ide. Wendy Abigail. Present miss. 
Thank you. Yancy Saray. Present. Thank you. Jamie Rosibel. I am here. Thank you so much. Well, that will be it for uh, attendance. So we will continue with uh, yesterday's topic. And I remember that we watched a video about the yes, no questions and the short answers with B. So this is what we got there. We have the yes, no questions and short answers with B. And then we have this exercise, but I remember that we saw this video yesterday. So today we're just going to listen to the audio for the grammar focus, make a review, and then complete the exercises. Page five, exercise eight, grammar focus. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. So basically, just remember that whenever we are asking yes, no questions would be the short answer will include if it is affirmative, yes, and then a comma plus subject, and then the form of the verb be corresponding to that subject. If it is negative, we answer no, comma. Then we place the subject and the form of the verb be corresponding to that subject, and then the word not. The structure for just no question is first, we need to place the auxiliary verb be depending on the subject, okay? So we're going to use are, is, or am, um, and then the subject plus a kind of complement. Finally, the question mark. I'm sure that you have studied this before, but I would like to know if it is any question about this or is that easy for you? Easy topic? It's easy, teacher. It's easy, right? You studied that in, uh, yes, in basic, but yes, I wanted to make sure if you need more explanation or exercises, just let me know. So we're going to complete the, these conversations. So for example, in the first one, uh, see the question here and it's talking about Ms. Gray. So the missing verb here is, is, is Ms. Gray from United States? Yes, she. What am I missing here? Yes, she is. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, she is. Now, we have a, a, a period here. And to start this new sentence, what am I missing here? She is. It she is. is. She is. Uh -huh. She is from Chicago. And that way, we will complete the number two, three, and four. I'll give you for uh, some time for you to complete it in your material or in your notebook.
Okay, it's time to check your exercises. So let's raise your hand if you want to share your answers. And let's raise hands. Volunteer for number two. Sandra, Amelia. Then I have Luis Alonso, you can complete the number three. And Kevin, number four. Number two is, is it, is it English class at 10? No, it is. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. Yes. It is at 11. Okay, let us see. Thank you so much. And yes, you say, is English class at 10? No, it isn't. Or you can say, no, it's not. And then it's at 11. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, number three, a volunteer. Good teacher. Uh, uh, yes, Luis, sorry. <laughs> yes, you were in the Number queue. three. Are you and Monica from France? Yes, we are. We are from Paris. Yes, it's correct. Here it is. Are you and Monique from France? Yes, we are. We're from Paris. Thank you. And the last one, number four. Me, teacher. Thank you, Kevin. They are Mr. and Mrs. Trapp Tavares American. No, they aren't. They are, they are Brazilian. Okay, thank you so much. For the question, are Mr. and Mrs. Tavares American? No, they aren't. They are Brazilian. Excellent. Thank you so much, all of you, for your participation. Now, let's answer these questions. Answer no. If you answer no, you have to correct, give the correct information and then ask your partner the questions. For example, the first one. Are you from the United States? If we answer no, we have to give the correct information. So you would say, no, I am not. Or you can say, no, I'm not from the United States. I'm from El Salvador. Is your teacher from Canada? No, she's not. She is from El Salvador. And then you continue answering depending, right? I'll give you a couple of minutes. Finished? Have you yes, finished? teacher. Okay, I volunteer to ask the questions. Me, teacher. Uh, name, sorry. 
Katia. Okay, Katia, you can ask the questions to any of your classmates. You can select your classmate and ask the questions. Okay. My partner, Luis, Luis Sometta. Okay. Hello. Yes, ask the questions to please. Are you from the United States? No, I am not. I am from El Salvador. Todas, no. teacher? Hey, yeah, you can ask any of them, cualquiera. Ahora Luis puede preguntarle a alguien más. Cualquiera de las cuatro preguntas. Okay, Reina. Está Reina. Hello, Luis. Okay. Is your teacher from Canada? No, she isn't. isn't. She is from El Salvador. Okay, now you continue. Um, Miguel? Miguel Angel? <laughs> is, your, is your English class in the morning? It's not at night. No, it's not. It's at night. No, it's not. It's at night. Okay, very good, Miguel. You can continue. Ask any question to your classmates. Sandra Madeline. Are you are you and your best friend the same age? Yes, we are. Okay, good. Continue. Yes, we are. We are 41 years old. Uh huh. Okay, very good. Continue. Ask another classmate. A usted siga la cadenita. Tiene que Anthony. preguntarle a alguien más. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony, ok. Kevin Anthony. Hi. Are you from the United States? No, no, I am not. I am from the Salvador. Ok, continue, Kevin. Ok. Um... You can uh, watch the list, tal vez donde dice participants, y ahí puedes coger. Miguel. Of you. Miguel Ángel. Principalmente lo que quiere es evitar invadir el carril, no manejar, digamos, en estado de ebriedad. Miguel Ángel. Y siempre portar el debido caso. El caso que es importante y es clave. Este, Are you there, Miguel Ángel? Maybe he's Is just your teacher solid. from Canada. Okay. No. Se registran 7400 accidentes, de los cuales más de 4500 han resultado. Is your teacher from Canada? No. My teacher is from Instagram. Okay, I see that you have a. Uh, Katia, Katia Graciela, Juan is your English class. Okay. In the no, it isn't. It's a uh, night. Excellent. No, it isn't. It's at night. Okay, very good. You did an excellent job with this exercise. So let's see, what do we have next? I think we have um, vocabulary practice after that. So this is what we already did. Mm. I think we did this one. Okay, it's a word power saying hello and goodbye. This is what you have in your material. So uh, 
we have the different um, ways to say hello and goodbye. So for example, we have here, bye, good morning, good night, have a good day, hey, hi, how are you? How's it going? See you later, see you tomorrow, talk to you later, what's up? Now we have to classify all these um, phrases into which one are uh, ways to say hello and which ones are ways to say goodbye. For example, in a way to say hello is saying good morning. A way to say goodbye is bye, just like that. And good night, what would be good night? If you say goodbye, goodbye. Bye. Bye. goodbye. Uh huh. It's a way to say goodbye, and this is very important. Eh, goodbye is eh, si vamos a despedirnos por la noche es good night. Okay. So, entonces, good night es una forma de despedirse, eh, de decir goodbye, good night. Por eso, cuando iniciamos la clase, por ejemplo, para decir hola, no podemos iniciarla con good night, porque good night se utiliza para despedirse en la noche. Okay, ya se va a dormir, estaba de visita, ya es noche, ya se va. Good night. Okay, so very good. Let's continue classifying the rest of them. I'll give you some time. You can do it in your notebook or if you have the material printed, that's fine.
finished? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm going to show you the answers and you check if you have them that way. Okay, here it is the list. Can you see the list? Yes. Okay, good. So in hello, yes, we teacher. have good morning. Hey. Teacher. Hi. How are you? How's it going? What's up? And goodbye. We have bye. Good night. Have a good day. See you later. See you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Yes. Were your answers correct? Yes, miss. Nice. Very good. And then we have this matching exercise with the best response. For example, if someone tells you have a good day, you can say thanks, you too. Let's see in hi, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Excellent, pretty good, thanks. What's up? Oh, oh no, not much. Uh -huh. Oh, not much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Same like that. Okay. To finish the section number one, we have this reading. What's in a name? And uh, let's see. I think. Okay. Can you uh, see the screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start reading. Vamos a hacer como una cadenita otra vez. Voy a parar y donde pare voy a poner a alguien más a leer. Así es que, y esa persona igual va a leer hasta algún punto, una coma o hasta donde se canse. Dale chance a otro. <laughs> let's see, I'm going to start. Your name is very important, Oscar Armando. When you see, when you see of yourself, you probably think of your name is, it is an important part of the, your identity. 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 Uh huh. Can continue, Oscar. Thank you. Katia Graciela Juan. Okay, Katia, continue. Si right. se puede hacer un poquito más grande la imagen, es que casi no la veo. Perdón, vamos a ver. Okay, thanks. Ahí, ahí. Oh, pues chiquita, que así quedó muy grande. Hoy muy grande. Bueno, es que yes, tengo es que porque estar no moviendo. veo. La... Okay, like this? No, no, I don't see. It's more, it's more big. Más grande. Okay. Así? No. Right. Okay. No, es muy chiquita. <laughs> bueno, right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States, and I don't see it. The follow R Jacob Jacob, Jacob. R Jacob and oh. I don't see lo demás teacher. Okay, it's tell someone else to continue. Okay. Díganle a alguien más que continúe. El Chris. Okay, for boys and. Um... Emma for girls, why are these names popular? And why are other names popular? Uh, Nadia? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or books car characters or athletes. Athletes. Oh, athletes. 
popular names, such subjects, very positive things. And next, Kevin. Um, so just negative theme. Super, so surprisingly. surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they fit. They they feel about they feel about names. Here are some com common opinions about names from ascent for from our recent 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 survey survey. Uh huh. For a recent survey. For a recent survey. Mm -hmm. Who wants to read the survey? What do you mean in survey? Okay, Oscar. Boy's name. No, uh, what the meaning is survey. Ah, the meaning of survey. Survey is una encuesta. Uh, encuesta. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. A volunteer to read about what what is the survey about voice name? Volunteer. Your teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, boys' names: George, uh, Abraz, Abraz, mm -hmm. Abraz, Boy, Jacob, creative, friendly, Michael, good looking, athletic, Stanley, nerdy, serious. Okay, thank you so much. I volunteer to read about girls' name. Your teacher. Thank you so much. Girls name, Betty, old fashioned, average, Emma, independent, aventure, adventurous, adventures, Jane, plain, ordinary, Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Okay, very good. Interesting, right? So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? One reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now may become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. <laughs> okay, what do you think? What do you think of this reading? It's interesting, right? I was named after my mother. My mother's name was Flor. So I was named after her. And what is the story behind your names? The, my grandmother is Rosibel and Rosibel. Okay, so you are named after your mother. Okay. Grandmother. Now, oh, grandmother. Yes. Oh, interesting. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Were all you named uh, after a family member or were you named uh, because a famous actor or actress was favorite of your mother or father? Hi, my name is Nadia, in honor uh, Nadia Comaneci. She is a athletics. Oh, an athlete. Okay. Yes. Nice. Interesting. And the rest of you? My mother, my mother's name is Maria Julia. My name Maria. Okay, so I guess you were named after your mother as well. All right, so thank you so much for sharing. Now let's see some of the things that I see here. A strong couple of words that were kind of difficult to pronounce here. Uh, the first one, it was surprisingly. 
surprisingly. And then I see in this, so for the adjectives in this, George, average, average, boring, creative, friendly, good looking, athletic, nerdy, serious, old fashioned, old fashioned, average, independent, adventurous, plain, ordinary, beautiful, Beautiful. Intelligent. Intelligent. Any new word here? Alguna palabra nueva? Alguna expresión? Teacher, mm -hmm. what is the meaning? Nerdy. Eh, nerdy es como el, el, el inteligente, pero así como el... El, el nerdo, como dice aquí. El nerdo, ajá, el nerdito, el nerdo, yes. Y en average, average, what is the meaning? El average es como algo... Una cantidad eh, grande. Eh, sí, en gran, eh, la mayoría. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Promedio? El promedio, ajá. Ok, thanks. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Uh, ah, surprisingly. Es como sorpresivamente. Teacher. Sorry. Tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. A los, las palabras como boring, si se le agrega ING es para personas y si se le pone ED es para cosas. Es adjetivo, ajá, sí, exactamente, boring es adjetivo y um, el, si lo decimos bored también es, es como un estado, el estado como decir yo estoy aburrido, I am bored. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what the meaning of? Uh, of which one? Sagas. What the meaning? ¿A dónde está ese? Um, next, uh, popular names. Popular name suggest. I don't believe the pronunciation. Suggest. Is... Esta, oh, popular okay. name suggest. suggest. Suggest okay. very positive thing. It's como sugerir. Popular name suggests very positive things. Any other question about this reading? No, teacher. Are we okay with the vocabulary and pronunciation? You have a similar reading in the in the presentation. Tienen una reading similar por ahí en la presentación. Y aquí el ejercicio What's in a name is to read the article and check the statements um, that are true. Let's see if we remember about what we already um, study here. Let's see if we remember. Your name is part of your identity. Do we check that one? It is, is true? True. It's true, teacher. It's true. Yes. Okay. Yes, this one is true. People often feel the same way about particular names. 
It's true. True. And you think so? Yes, it's true, teacher. It's true. It's true. It's true. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. It's false. False. Uh, false. False. Now, fourth, people are often named after family members. True. 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 Okay, opinions about names can change. True. 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 Okay, so meaning that only the number three was false. <laughs> okay, you, you have a good retention, good memory. Now, let's see. According to the article, which name suggests positive things, which suggests negative things? Hmm. For example, in boy's name, we have George, it is average and boring. So does it suggest positive or negative thing? Negative. 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 So George would be in this part, negative. Mm -hmm. Eso lo tienen en su material, solo es como para indicarles cómo van a ir a hacer ese ejercicio. Lo pueden hacer maybe in the, during the weekend. Y con esa lectura se termina la sección 1. Vamos a ver a uh, Nadia. Teacher, I don't have material now. Oh, really? And the rest of you? I have it. I have teacher. ¿Sí? Yes, el material teacher. es, eh, bueno, el material es lo que acabamos de ver en la pantalla, se los mandé en el WhatsApp. Entonces es la presentación y la presentación está basada acá en el manual del estudiante. Este manual ustedes lo tienen que descargar, está aquí en la plataforma. ¿Todos están viendo la, la plataforma ahorita? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Entonces aquí está el manual, solo le dan clic ahí y pues luego lo, lo descargan. Pero también se los puedo mandar, este yo ya lo tengo descargado. Esto es lo que hemos estado trabajando, toda la sección 1 está acá. Y aquí están los ejercicios. Y al final, pues, es esto lo que acabamos de hacer. What's in a name? Aquí, pues, se ve un poco diferente por lo que ya les expliqué que yo tengo una versión adelante. Entonces, esto es solo de descargarlo, pero igual se lo voy a mandar a WhatsApp para los que se les haga más fácil eh, desde ahí. Para descargar y, pues, ahí queda... Eh, a opción de ustedes, ¿verdad? Si lo quieren imprimir, lo pueden imprimir y a mí me gusta tener las cosas impresas para manchar ahí, tomar notas. Y si no, pues igual pueden um, nada más trabajar en el cuaderno. Pero sí, ahí está en la plataforma, solo se van aquí arribita donde dice Students Manual y ahí pues um, Acá le dan guardar o descargar en estos botoncitos que aparecen acá o si lo van a imprimir directo de un solo. Any other question? ¿Algo más? Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. eh, las clases no se están subiendo a videoconferencias. ¿Cómo no? Sí. En el enlace acá. de YouTube. Ajá, es que eh, ahí en el, en esa, ¿cómo se llama? En la plataforma ahí aparece videoconferencias, pero al entrar ahí a mí al menos no me aparece. Ajá, ese, las clases están en el enlace de YouTube. Eh, okay. Ahorita se lo voy a compartir también. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Déjenme para así, ya, ya de un solo salimos de eso, porque si no se me puede olvidar ok 
Eh, ahorita les envié el manual. Y Anthony ya nos compartió el enlace de YouTube. Gracias, Anthony. Ese enlace, si ustedes le dan clic ahí, ya está la clase de estos últimos tres días. Uh -huh. En el enlace que mandó Anthony. Ok, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Kevin también puso el enlace de YouTube para, ahí está el playlist de las clases, las videoconferencias. Any other question or comment? Okay, so remember that for this weekend, you should have completed the section number one, complete, and start section number two. So ya tendrían que tener completo los ejercicios. Recuerden de la sección uno todos que son los evaluados, ¿verdad? Pero por alguna razón está tardadito. Sí están viendo la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, aquí está. Esto es lo que tienen que tener completo todos los que tienen el lapicito acá. Esos son los knowledge check. Esos son los ejercicios evaluados. Entonces ya tienen que tener completos todos estos. Son cuatro y eh, parte de la sección dos también. Por lo menos empezar. Y si pueden seguir y si pueden avanzar lo más que puedan, excelente. Teacher, uh -huh. en algunos videos que pide escribir en la discusión, hacer unos ejercicios también se, se tienen que hacer. Ok, aquí después del video aparece la discussion. Okay. Esto lo pueden hacer y es como voluntario. Esto de las discusiones de los videos no es como obligatorio, no, no es evaluado. Sin embargo, a nosotros nos sirve porque de repente nos metemos a la plataforma y vemos acá este, cómo, cómo están haciendo las publicaciones. Depende de lo que han visto en el video. Y ahí vemos si hay algo que reforzar. Es como un diagnóstico. Ahí podemos ver cómo van. Entonces, sí nos sirve a nosotros para ver eso y para ustedes es una práctica adicional. Any other thing or question? Comment? Aquí, pues, si se fijan, son eh, pocos ejercicios, nada complicado. Eh, pero ya, yes, uh, veamos aquí instrucciones, las tienen en, en inglés y en español. Complete estas oraciones escogiendo la forma adecuada del verbo be o el adjetivo posesivo correcto, que es lo que ya vimos en estos días anteriores. So you said, see, my name, David Garza. What is the correct option here? Is. 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 Okay, we select is. I'm from Mexico, family in Mexico City. My. 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 my is the correct option. And then my brother, a uh, university student. What is. do I need here? Is. 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 Okay, it says name is Carlos. Is. 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 name. His, porque es el de él, ¿verdad? Si fuera ella, usaríamos yes. her. But yeah. in this case, his. His name is okay. Carlos. Now, name is Sonny Park. I'm 20 years old. My. Her. Her. My. 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 Is. 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 is okay. Is. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Number seven. My. My. My last name. My. Last name. Okay. Number eight. You are. I am. Um, I am. I am. I am. I'm. 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 I'm a student at City College. Vamos a probar esa. My parents. 
R. 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 And then le damos enviar. And yes, all of them are correct. Excellent. <laughs> y así pues van a ir completando los demás. Este fue el que hicimos. Este hicimos la vez pasada que habían unos problemillas por ahí. Pero pues igual, ¿verdad? Si eh, necesitan cualquier ayuda, recuerden mencionar qué número de ejercicio es para que no andemos por toda la plataforma buscando en cuáles que se necesita ayuda. Así que digan, sí, sí. necesito ayuda, sí, sí. por ejemplo, este es el 1.12. Necesito ayuda en el 1.12, por favor. ¿Yes? Eh, I'm having el 2.11, porque no logro escuchar bien del todo algunas, algunas de las cosas que piden ahí. Por ejemplo, de he goes to bed at... Y no, no logro escuchar del todo bien. No sé si nos puede ayudar, por favor, porque no sé si soy la única que tiene ese problema. Ok, muy bien, que ya va adelante en la sección 2. I, uh, I have a problem with the session 1.12. Ok, vamos. El 2 me dijo que 2. ¿Qué? 11. 11. Es el este último. último, el daily schedules. Vaya, um, a veces no nos da el listening de un solo por acá. Sin, uh, a veces lo da acá. Le damos play. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Si no les da ahí, pueden abrirlo acá en una ventana externa. Si le dan acá la flechita, les lleva el listening acá en, un, en, en esta ventana lo pueden reproducir e incluso lo pueden descargar el sonido acá eso es en caso de que no les dé la, en la opción anterior entonces vamos a hacer este listening y vamos a responder okay. luego de eso vamos a ver cuál es el otro ejercicio en el que tienen eh, oh, son varios Okay, so Rodney, let's listen. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, that's a lot of information. Rodney is a chef. What time do you remember he gets up? Nine. 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 Yes. He gets home at 11. 11. 11. 11, like this. He goes to bed at 1. Tina is a office, office manager. manager. Office manager. She gets up at 7. 7? Yeah. Yes. She gets home at 6. Okay, she goes to bed at midnight. 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 Ellen is a flight attendant. attendant. Flight attendant. A flight attendant. She gets up before five. Five. She gets home at nine. 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 And she goes to bed at 
10. Around, around 10, por favor. Si me salió, bueno. Around 10. Okay, it's, uh, it is showing that all the answers are correct. No sé si ya está por ahí la que le hacía falta. Yes. Es que era más que todo en la de Tina, creo que se llama, no, Ellen, perdón, de Fly Attendant, pero yo se le escribía F, L y la Y. Ah, oh, flight attendant. Ajá, tiene que estar así escrito, si no, no se la toma bien. Ok. Thanks. Uh, me dijeron de uno de la sección 1 también, ¿verdad? Alguien mencionó que necesitaba ayuda en uno de la 1. Yes, teacher. I am, I am need help in the exercise 1, 12, 1. 12. Because I write the similar example and está mal, me sale mal. Ok, este es el que hicimos la vez pasada. Todos le salen malos. Only first and second exercise. Ok, la primera. Y recuerden poner el punto. Va así. No, I am not from the United States. Ahí se las estoy copiando en el chat para que igual usted le dé copiar y pegar si quiere en la plataforma. Y la cuatro me dijo. La uno y la dos. Ok. No, she's not from Canada. Ok, this is the second. Así le tienen que quedar. Ahí se las puse en el chat. Eh, ¿Alguien más? A mí me sale solo una de ese ejercicio, me sale solo la primera, me sale buena. De ahí las dos, tres, cuatro me salen malas. Entonces le voy a copiar la tres y la cuatro también y ahí la ah, copia. Es porque en hay un chat espacio al final. Hay que fijarse en los espacios también, si estamos dando un espacio de más, etc. Así es que ahí ya, ya les tienen en el chat. ¿Alguien más necesita ayuda con algún otro ejercicio? No, okay, so. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. So, um, we couldn't start section number two today, but we will do on Monday. Vamos a empezar la el lunes. So, section number two is going to be for Monday. But if you can go ahead and um, continue solving the exercises, you can do it. And if you need help, you can write in the chat and we will try to assist you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for joining. I hope that you enjoyed your weekend and see all of you on Monday. Espérame, lista. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's see, solo con los que no registramos un present al inicio, Iris Rosario. Iris Rosario no se unió. Isaac. Jaime. Jessica Marielos. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Marcos Javier. Present teacher. Thank you, Marcos. A ver a quién más nos registramos al principio. Vilma y D. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Los demás, si no los menciones, porque sí están registrados como present in this meeting. Thank you so much. And I hope that you enjoy and see all of you on Monday. See you on Monday, teacher. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good